the upcoming European Media Freedom Act is, is one thing. The attitude of certain governments towards journalists is another one. So how to bring about change in attitudes, be it in Malta or in certain other EU countries? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I see a big difference, of course, between some countries and another. Uh, I'm uh, very much uh, open to talking to all journalists and I'm also open to answer all questions. It's not only pre-prepared, it's not only uh, nice questions, but also critical, hard, tough ones, when sometimes you don't know the answer to. And my appeal on Sunday was precisely that. Let's open all systems up. Let's be able to be transparent about sometimes how difficult some decisions are. Some systems are inherited. Some issues are very difficult to, uh, to, to resolve. What I would urge, and this is what I will be doing in the European Parliament, but next week I go to Spain and Latvia, this week I go to Poland, is precisely that message. Let journalists ask their questions, be ready to answer them. After all, that is our role, that is our responsibility, but also in a world, especially after the pandemic and now during this war, where misinformation and propaganda has to be countered, where narrative which is not true sometimes just goes faster than the speed of light and there is no possibility for the so-called traditional journalists to be able to push back against that false narrative. Let us not, as politicians, as government leaders, as opposition leaders, as anyone with a political responsibility, allow that to happen any longer in our European Union.